First of all, thank you Vladimir, it's a pleasure to have you in here in the showroom at uh, Audio Video. And uh, let's start with a few questions to break the ice, okay? Um, so, can you uh, briefly introduce yourself? Myself or AQ Company? <laughs> First of all, yourself and maybe yourself in AQ Company, so then we can switch to the AQ, definitely. Okay, it's somehow anyway related and going together. So, yeah. I'm uh, the founder and uh, designer of, of uh, Acoustic Quality. And the funny thing is that I say I, I never have been working in my life because all my life I'm only enjoying playing with the acoustical stuff and with the audio equipment, audio devices. And I have to say that we started this this activity on the university. So I, I haven't been employed in, in, in any other company than is the acoustic quality which, which we run. And well, about myself, I, I, I like uh, the technical things, I like the sound, I like, I like the light music and to me uh, what I'm trying to do is, is to join all those things together somehow. Great, so everything is meant in one common passion, let's say, in yeah. between work and life. Um, one more question, is it like, um, which is your music young and maybe which one is your favorite song? <laughs> it's not an easy question and I, yeah. I'm really not sure I, I can repeat this because in, in some way I'm crazy. I like so wide uh, kind of, of music that, that it's not making sense to, to a lot of people. In some way, I would say I have grown on, on country music and uh, very soon I, I become to be passionate in, in, in uh, the music which have the live uh, image. Mm -hmm. Means this is this. I don't like so much the electronic music because this haven't the the real image. This it is just the fantasy of musician or of the technical stuff, but what I like so much is, is the uh, human voice, which is the, the most accurate and most, most precise things. And then, then my music music range is, is so wide that it's, it's going from the class, classical music through jazz, through bluegrass, through Metallica in some way. So, <laughs> To me, it's it's not the kind of music, but it's it's like if, if I can like like the music, um, I can enjoy it. Yeah, and the right the right moment is when I'm not not going to care what exactly it is, but I have the feeling this is this is right. Good. So maybe it's also related to the to the mood of the day or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And uh, what are the main skills required for your role inside? Thank you. Uh, well, the mind skills from which we operate, uh, my colleague Karel and also, also myself, we have been studying the Technical University, which was mainly uh, focused on uh, devices and making the devices. So this was the advantage that it works for us because it's some mechanical engineering, mm -hmm. electrical engineering, and that's also how the loudspeaker works together. It's, it's not only the crossover, it's not only the drivers, but it's, it's also the enclosure and it's about how all those things are meshed together and even about a simple screw or piece of wire which, which work inside the cabinet. That's right. So which kind of advice would you uh, give to someone who wants to have your same fat career? Well, to, to like it and to do it the way which, which he believes. And then to keep some passion because the sound the must sun be passion. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So now we are, we will really dig deep um, around acoustic quality. Um, what are the philosophy and principle of acoustic quality? Well, philosophy and principles. Principles are the physical rules, 
you cannot cross the physical rules. Uh, and the principles is, or our, our vision is always, uh, even when we are in, in our uh, entry-level price category, we are trying to do as much uh, real sound and as much as much high sound as we as we can. So we trust that we can we can do simple loudspeakers, simple cabinets, like uh, for example in in our Funko line, which should uh, at least not destroy the musical image, um, which can also allow the the listener to grow. On, on the musical skill and on, on the way of listening music. Of course. And where do you see acoustic quality in 10 years from now? <laughs> <laughs> High expectation, I would say. High expectation. Uh, I think it, it's, it's, it's the way which we started. We like to keep the wide range, which, which goes really from the entry level mm -hmm. to really top high. End. And we like to work on all those fields uh, now the topic which we started it's it's visible on counter line where we using the skills which we have and also the, the technical background and the machinery which which we keep to be able to do more more sophisticated and more design products so i would say what you see on on fashion line and what you see on the on the canto is somehow deducting the future which we like to come. Yeah, we have several questions related to the canto <laughs> line. And um, so getting into more technical questions, in between all your speaker lines, which one um, is the most satisfied for you and why? Uh, well, the most satisfied uh, without looking on, on the price value is, is the passion. Passion is, is in this moment the, the top, and I think we can compete with, with any brand on the world being in, in competitive line. And then it's it's about my, my philosophy. I like to be able to listen any product we do. So there, there is not any any loudspeaker which I would say I, I, I would like to listen. Because in any any product which we do, we must we must find something what is what is pleasant, mm -hmm. and I would say also on, on those all, all those product we like to do it as good as possible with, with with the material we can we can purchase for it and with the money we can we can spend on it. Of course, which one is peculiar? So, in some yeah. way, yeah. And the Canto line. Is insane. It's crazy. Top notch. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any other upcoming project? Thinking about uh, adding, or now we are adding uh, more active speakers. So for the Canto line is coming the we, we call it Canto Forte because it has amplification inside. So mm -hmm. this is what, what now exactly is coming on Canto Three, which which will be with uh, amplification with three inputs, a Bluetooth, USB and classical RCA. Uh, then probably will follow the Canto 5 in active version, in Forte version, with more powerful amplification, but with the same preamp which we already designed in for Canto 3. Then also we coming with the uh, Active Labrador 39, which will be in the future. And what else? Probably we will bring a small monitor, small small cabinet for the Canto line. That's what we're thinking about and what we're working. And the rest we will see. Probably we will in the future bring also something uh, about the passion line also. Sounds impressive and a lot of news to. But as the faults, not not everything can can be surely fulfilled, but we try. The first step while designing a loudspeaker is the idea, and the idea can can start from different points. Once it should be about the combination of the new material, which was the starting point for Canto, for example. It should be sometime 
the new driver which which we're getting from our supplier and sometimes it could be our idea or the customer customer demand and which was your most challenging project most challenging project till now it was uh, passion because passion that was project without limit which which last so long to to get to to the result which we made and now it was come to because this was completely new way of using the, the material for the enclosure. Great. Speaking about the passion line, how is the passion cabinet designed and built? How is it designed? It's it's designed at first to fulfill the physical rules because the cabinets it's it's done to be so rigid and so uh, resistant against the standing wave inside so we was thinking on the beginning we know the demands and we was thinking how to do the cabinet which can fulfill those things uh, so in the end it was also about getting the 3d machinery which which we needed for for this and that's that's how it's right in the end it's it's about the shape which is completely functional some people think on the passion it's it's only the design but it's opposite it, it the design from the physical rules and in the end it, it looks impressive but the beginning of the of the way was to fulfill the physical rules yeah then it wasn't then it <laughs> and are you able to customize the surface yeah on the passion we are able to offer any raw color on the surface it can be any selection of the ribbon which is which is inside it could be vernier it could be aluminium it can it can be such a materials it can be in, in high gloss it can be in deep matte what customer like because we see passion at uh, something unique so I can agree some are customers <laughs> really asking to have it completely unique and is the production of each component uh, made inside the AQ factory? Yeah, we do everything in, in uh, Czech Republic, in, in uh, acoustic quality in Červenka. Uh, the only one thing which, which we getting from our suppliers are the drivers. In some way they are made up on our demand and, and made for us. But we do the cabinets, we do the crossovers, we wiring the coils, we do the selection of capacitors inside, uh, we do the paints, so just just the drivers are the only only one income which, which we have from different factories. Great. And always related to technical topics. Uh, how many hours of trial does a scam pick driver require? It should be related to the way of music or, or to the loudness which, which is played and usually it's, it's something between 200 and 500 hours. Great. How are you coping with the pandemic and the Ukraine crisis? How do you feel it impacts the hi-fi world or how does it impact the IQ? I would say the beginning of, of the COVID was uh, really strange and difficult for everybody, but in the end, it was something what get people a little bit back to, to the core, a little bit to take care again about their, their listening devices, about their homes. So I have to say that during the epidemic, we have uh, multiplied our production because people was, was more demanding for the devices which can make their, their living more comfortable and uh, Ukraine Ukraine war it's something what is challenging us uh, it's something what what's making me very sad it, it happens uh, in some way I we have also employed uh, people from Ukraine which which working in, in IQ and they working very well and the rest everybody is very nervous from, from this so again it's maybe 
maybe the thing that we have to found something what will cool us down and what will give us, give us some some uh, time to relax and what should be again the music yeah we are waiting for it actually and to conclude i would like to you to describe me uh, what music means to you in one word passion great <laughs> Thank you again, Vladimir. It was a pleasure having you here. Thank you for, for inviting us. And I have to say it's, it's a really pleasure to work with you. Thanks again. Um, you're very welcome over here. Thanks. Thank you. Grazie. <laughs>